Hello and welcome to the 44th text tutorial. As you can see, I have still not fixed it. And this time we'll be focusing on microblocks. So at the back here, you can notice what I've shown as possible with these. As you can see, it's very terrible as per se my usual building. But if I were to break, say, this block here, nope, just a little corner block. As you can see, it gives a nice texture and it gives a full block appeal even though it's like half blocks. These are the full blocks which is why when I destroy them I get nothing but for some reason with micro blocks you pick them up even if you destroy them in creative. So as you can see the pillars, posts, all kinds of different things here, ruby slabs. Anyways I'll be hoping to show these off in this video. Right so let's have a look over here. In this project table we have a iron handsaw. It is the first of the handsaws and it's the cheapest. However that also means it's the worst. It can cut up the least amount of things. Look, see here. And yeah, this is everything it cuts up. It looks like a lot, however, when you consider half of them are wool, then yeah, and the other half are wood. <laughs> it can cut up wood, wool, pumpkin, snow, rubber wood. Good, interesting to note. It can cut up what I think is. Oh, I don't know what rubber wood this is. But it can cut up the type of rubber wood that is one wood. But it cannot cut up the IC2 type of rubber wood, which is two woods, rubber wood. I just put that there as a memory. And it basically cuts up anything that's like soft, as in clay, or sand, or organic, like pumpkins, snow, anyway, stuff like that. Next up, one up is a gem handsaw. You can use sapphires, rubies, or emeralds to make these. They all do the same thing. So let's just make one of these. As you can see, the EMC value is increasing quite a bit, but it's not very expensive overall. And this is the, in addition to everything else, it can cut up everything you see here, including glass, which I quite like, because you can make glass half slabs and whatnot, and it's very, very nice. But yeah, essentially, this kind of moving on to stone, every kind of brick, uh, blocks of iron, blocks of gold. And here's an interesting one, stone slabs. When you cut these up, I'll actually take them out and cut them up. They don't go into stone slab like half blocks or whatnot. They go into polished stone slabs. They, they're worth the same amount as a normal stone, despite the fact they're half. And yeah, as I showed in the last video, by the way, you can repair your hand saws by putting them in with the talisman of repair, which is somewhere over there. So yeah, just remember that, because when you make a diamond hand saw, which is a fair bit of EMC now, 16,000, that's a bit big step up from 2500 but it can cut up anything although it does only add five blocks such as obsidian diamond blocks and all the gem blocks i do quite like the gem blocks though they are very pretty right so now i'm gonna set to daytime and here is every type of cut up you can do so here's the original block then if you place it down if you put it in your little two by two, two crafting table here uh, and put the hand saw above or below it, I'll just show off with ruby, you can see you get these slabs. So these are the slabs. Then if you do the exact same with the slabs, you get into panels, and again, you get into covers. Now you're wondering what these things are on the side, probably, by now. Um, if you cut it the other way, so just to show off, I'll cut this once. If you cut it from the side this time, you get these strips, which are what you can see here. These are strips for the slabs, the panels, then the covers. And they're what I use for the borderline of that building. Then you can cut those up again. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Uh, oh yeah, of course, Iron Handsaw cannot cut that. If you cut them up again at the side, then you get these corners. I don't think there's anything there. And you can get a corner for a slab, a panel, and a thing, and a cover. But wait, there's even more. If you say craft for some crazy crazy reason, you want to craft a slab, then you get pillars, which are quite nice things actually. See, they just go down like that. They go in the center of a block, but they go sideways as well. So just gonna make a little red cross, cause. And then strip it down. Right, anyways. And there's even even more because micro blocks from red power cover a hell of a lot. And yes, they are from red power. Everything that is, almost everything that's good is from red power in this. So wait, so we've got these triple covers here. 
Let's see if I can pick some up easily. Nope. You cannot take these in creative by middle clicking. Triple covers here from three of these. Uh, this is probably from five of these. I don't know what it's called. These aren't really relevant. They're just different sized blocks, essentially. And, interesting to note, that say you have a panel and one of these, I don't know what's called, probably a triple cover slab or some crap like that. But you can add them together make a full block, or so seam. But basically if you destroy it, you get each part individually. It does not form a full block. Right, so there's those. Now, more interesting things is that you can make hollow covers, which I will have to show you for, because for some reason... It's got this retarded system where if you click to show recipe by clicking R, or hitting R even, it just shows you this retarded system. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some covers here, just Ruby because it's there. Where's my project table and... Oh, I did it wrong. <laughs> right, get some covers, make sure they're covers, and put them in a little chest chip. And there you go, that's how you make these covers. Let's get a whole lot of these, actually, because I can show off some more while we're at it. Then, similar to how you can put, say, two, two covers together to make a panel, because, yes, you can craft them back up. I just remembered I forgot to show that. But you can craft these back up to make panels at first. So let's make a ton of panels. Then you can do it again to make slabs. However, if you do it again, you do not get a, a whole block with a hole in it you get a full ruby block, which is quite irritating. So, that last one I showed you is called the anti-cover. Hollow anti-cover, sorry. And let's just put it down. You can see it does not cover a full block, which people who like aesthetics will not like that at all. So you end up with something looking like this if you put a wire or pipe through it. Note, it does not work with buildcraft pipes. Buildcraft pipes will not pass through these. I'll just double check. See, you can't right click or anything. However, you can also put down the uh, the wire, then put down the cover afterwards. Now, as you can see, I did it wrong. You can see it's blocked up by here, even though it doesn't look it, so current will not pass through there. So anyways, I've discovered a little trick around this. So let's just put down one of these facing up. You can see, for one thing, I can't put down another because it has to be on the centre to put it up facing upwards, so you end up with that. I didn't just describe that well, but I hope you get the gist of it. So, get your hollow stone covers, look at the middle, and you can place them down, and there you go, it has the appearance of a full block. Let me just get something to show that off, like a pneumatic tube. Also note, when you want to put these inside blocks, you can't do it with that on it. So, you can do it, but it's quite difficult. So what I'd recommend doing is just putting down, say, your pipe or whatever first. And then just putting this down over it. You have to make sure you hit the middle block. And you have to do the middle block with the cover. Then the anti-cover. And so on. But this does allow you to completely hide your pipes whilst still having them functional. I hope. I haven't tested this. So, I will test this on cam. Let's see what gives off blocks easily. Let me get a transposer. Add a redstone torch. Okay, that'll that'll do. Transposer. Okay. And uh, quickly a chest to put it in. Sorry, this taking so long. I should have thought ahead. There we go. So let's just test it will indeed go through these pipes by throwing tons of crap in front of the transposer, giving it a bit of power, and there we go. Yep, it works. It can successfully go through these pseudo blocks. So with this, you can completely hide your pipes. Now whilst the sides may be a bit more difficult, what you can do is just get some covers of end well. Any type will work, and I'm not going to make it match this time. But you can just put covers on this side, on the corners. You can put one cover in the middle, but as you can see, it separates the pipe, so I would not advise doing that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this microblocks tutorial. I went through everything I could think of the best I can. Oh, um, it can also put red alloy jacketed wire in it. Which I should cover, actually, because... 
Jacketed wire is not something I've done so far. Basically, if you have your red alloy ingots or your blue alloy ingots, either or, then you come all the way to a crafting table, put some covers all around with a ingot in the middle, and you'll make four jacketed wire. So then you can thread your jacketed wire through this system as you please. I'll just destroy this. See, you can do it with these, but you can't do it with the anti-covers because you can't click inside of them. Well, not very well, at least. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials. And I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and goodbye, guys.